just checked into our flight and boy was that dramatic and suspenseful oh my god so we sucked we got here a little bit late <laughs> okay whatever we got here a little bit late we didn't fill out the help affidavit we didn't realize it was like super long and all that so but we got that done and we're about to go to our gate now <laughs> grab some breakfast and mm, we put our face shields together you have to wear these when you travel throughout Peru um, yeah now we wait But now everyone's wearing these or wearing two masks, so I guess it's more like you have to wear them when you get here in Peru. Alright guys, we made it. The drive here was a little rough, a little crazy, but um, we're at our hotel now. We're staying in the Miraflores area. And yeah, we're pretty hungry, so we're about to go look for some food right now. But um, I'll put a little clip of what the room looks like. We paid like $20 a night for this, so can't really complain at all. Good for me. Good for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just woke up we got ready um we got our breakfast up to our room so we're about to eat that Barcelona vibe with the mosaic art and all that. It's really pretty, really calming. All these parks are beautiful. I love them. I'm obsessed. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep walking now. I got a coffee, Tyler got a milkshake. Um, it cost us about nine US dollars, which is just like a little bit crazy for me to process right now because I feel like in the States, the crepe alone would be like nine dollars. But um, we're chilling here, it's called Besos Frances, and this is the view. 
We're watching the surfers down there and there was a guy paragliding. That looks really fun. And yeah. from the top of the cliffs and check out the beach and get a closer look um it's kind of cool because the ground is like all rocks there's no really sand or anything um this other beach over here is like smaller rocks so it's more walkable but uh like over here where all the surfers are taking off and getting into the ocean it's like huge rocks so and they have surfing lessons here yeah they have they surfing lessons do. yeah i definitely Next am time. thinking about doing it when we come back to Lima, I kind of want to try it. I don't know. I have to see how cold this water is first. <laughs> Alright, so we just got here to the Lima, Lima Airport. airport. Yep. Um, we stopped at the food court real quick before we go and like go through security and all that. We're pretty hungry. Alright, this is what I got. I got the chicharron sandwich, and then we got some chicha. What, is that what's called? Chicha casera. And then we got some papas. Tyler got the um, pollo, deluxe. pollo deluxe y con papas and a chicha. All right, I'm about to try the chicha, which is purple corn juice. I don't hate this. This is actually really good. I've never had anything like this before. I don't even know how to describe it. It's sweet. It almost has like a candy or like bubble gum, but then there's also like a fruity flavor, which is weird because it's corn. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't think Tyler's really a fan of it, but I think it's good. I like it. to give you a tour of the room but before you do I just wanted to catch you up so um, we just touched down in Cusco it was a pretty quick flight the views were amazing we were like flying in at sunset so as you saw in the clips like it was beautiful um, yeah so as far as elevation because we're about like 3,900 meters up right now which is like 11,000 something feet um, I am definitely I can as you might be able to tell I'm already like running out of breath even just talking I'm not even doing anything but like coming upstairs I was like ooh, and I felt like kind of like pressure on my head a little bit but so far nothing extreme I'm good um, they have cocoa tea in our hotel lobby we're staying at the Encantada Casa Boutique hotel and spa um yeah so they offer free coca tea so i definitely want to try that out because it's supposed to help you a lot and um yeah i'm just like obsessed with our balcony view it's so pretty i can't wait to see it when it's daylight <laughs> as you saw and basically the plan for today is just to explore as much as we can of Cusco um this is like our only full day here so yeah we're gonna check out a lot of like the popular spots the markets all that stuff <laughs>
about um, midday now. We came up back to the hotel and yeah, that walk was rough, but we chilled a little bit. We relaxed, we laid down, we, I drank some cocoa tea, um, lots of water. We stopped at this convenience store and I also got um, coca candy. Let me show it to you guys. Right here. And it tastes way better than the tea, honestly. This one says it's energizing. And since I feel um, dead, hopefully that helps. But yeah, I feel like my head is just like constantly like off and on killing me. So that's why I got some... Oh, and yeah. inside we don't need to brush it to be soft okay and comparison to the other one this feels cold to the touch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why because this kind of garments have a natural oil that alpacas produce that is called lanoline this helps to regulate the temperature on your body bracelet basically they have everything here it's more of like a local spot but um you can find like all the souvenirs and stuff here too it's got a mango crust how is it good good how much did it cost uh dollars i don't know seven soles seven soles so As you can see, we got picked up around 4.20 a.m., got breakfast, drove on some crazy roads, but we finally started our trek to Laguna Human Thai. It's Tyler's and I, second anniversary of marriage. Woo. So yeah, we're celebrating by doing this trek. Um, it's really not that bad. We just started, but the altitude, as you can hear in my breathing, it's um pretty intense but not nothing crazy this is definitely uh supposed to be easier than rainbow mountain but yeah it's actually way warmer too um i have a tank top tank top underneath if i need to change if i get too hot they gave us some walking sticks and all that got breakfast now we're heading up 
to about 13,000 feet. Update. We got about like I don't really know. I was it was killer. It's called the Gringo Killer. That part of where we gave up. But um yeah, and then we jumped on some caballos, some horses, plus 80 solas. But we didn't have that much, so we just gave them what we had, which was like less than that. But um yeah, honestly, I feel bad. I wouldn't recommend doing the horses. My horse is fine, but Tyler's horse is struggling, and it's kind of making me sad. I wouldn't really recommend only if like you need to which I kind of felt like I needed to because as you all see in the clips it this is insane um but yeah it's beautiful though like riding the horses you definitely get to like enjoy the view better because you're not like dying and all that stuff but I just kind of feel bad my horse is good though we're killing it Our horses only took us so far. They're down there. Um, now we have about a 15-minute hike or something. I can't remember what the guy said, but yeah. Go around. And I think it's on the other side of this thing. I don't know. such a long day and we're exhausted Tyler's buried under there but um I'm about to try the picarones I'm about to try it they came with uh, we got it to go but it came with like a little baggie and all that and then I just ordered us dinner from our hotel and um, which is awesome because they can just like bring it up to the room and stuff and then they're also just super friendly staff here. I think I would, like, you guys could totally book this hotel and be, like, completely happy. I think this hotel is super nice. The staff's really friendly. Um, they're willing to, like, leave our bags here in the hotel, like, our big main suitcase um, for when we go to Machu Picchu. And then they also offered, since we're leaving so early in the morning again, they offered to have sandwich, breakfast sandwiches ready for us, like in a little to-go bag. So that's cool. I feel like it's just such great service here in Peru. Everyone's super friendly. But yeah, I'm about to eat and then go to sleep. Oh yeah, pack, fill out the health affidavit, and then go to sleep. <laughs> our hour and a half bus ride and now we're in Oya Taritambu uh, waiting for the train so we have about like 30 minutes or so extra time little doggy <laughs> um but yeah we're making our way to Machu Picchu
Doesn't taste like anything I've ever had. You think it's like fruity or... People say it tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, Maybe. a little bit. Yeah, I think it tastes like bubble gum. I got Lomo Sandado and Tyler got Alpaca. right now um, we just got back to the room changed and are pretty much gonna chill and relax um, like I said we're like really exhausted with this trip and we have another early morning tomorrow our Machu Picchu tickets our entrance time frame is between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. so we have to be there super early to catch the bus up and then we're gonna trek down but yeah currently we're about to eat our picarones and then chill. the carving of the stone to the mountains it's like that's that one that's that one little corner I think that's pretty cool hey guys so we're finishing up our tour here in Machu Picchu and it is amazing it's way better than I expected we literally have perfect weather it's not cold at all we have like such a great guide informing us with so much information and then it was just so empty. We were like the second people in here and we've been having like no people around us and stuff. Like we were able to take off our masks, our pictures, all that stuff. And it's just like, it's beautiful. Llamas. Happy birthday, baby. How you feeling? Good, it's awesome. It is, it's like so relaxing and it's beautiful. up our Machu Picchu tour we paid the guide about it cost 160 solas but we gave him a tip so we gave him like 200 solas um, and yeah then we said good our goodbyes and we came to this little restaurant right here close to the entrance of Machu Picchu this is the view I got a chicken sandwich a cappuccino and yeah about to snack a little bit before we start our hike down. We bought a one-way bus ticket, so we're gonna hike down um, and see how that goes. Should be 
I don't even know what to expect. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be easy or not. like notes from visiting Machu Picchu is that if it's not on your bucket list add it because it is completely worth it and completely understandable why it's one of the seven new wonders of the world it's absolutely breathtaking and just filled with so much history and like information and it's just so unique um and with that being said I would highly suggest getting a guide too like you just are able to take your time and learn so much information and uh because they just know so much and it's really not that bad of a price it's 40 us dollars it's really not that bad you could maybe bargain more but um up to you and then i would also suggest to come now pre like during the pandemic because literally the crowd sizes the our guide said is like less than half of what they used to be pre-pandemic so i would definitely suggest coming now um to avoid like large crowds because this place can get crazy it used to be like people would be like right up on each other walking down through Machu Picchu all that and then I would also suggest to book your ticket if you really want to avoid the crowds and like really be able to take your time through uh, Machu Picchu to book your tickets like we did 6 to 7 a.m because I think that just like made it completely worth it we saw the sunrise we were able to take our time with pictures um and be able to stop take breaks like sit down listen to what the history and stories and all that all right we made it to aguas calientes took us about what an hour and seven minutes hour and seven minutes how many miles was it 2.4 2.4 miles Woo. still gotta walk to the hotel though we're gonna try to hurry up get to the hotel so at least we can like shower because now we're all sweaty um we made it in time we had enough time to shower and get dressed again um but now it's kind of like raining and our checkout is at 11 which is like in four minutes and we're kind of like can we just pay for like an hour more because <laughs> we're exhausted but i don't know well, so this is our room here at the El Truco Boutique Hotel. They have um cute little plaza out there, nice little art, beds, towels, bathroom, not bed. This was $70 a night. Good morning, it is our final day in Cusco. This is our other hotel we're staying at, at Chuco. Um, but we're about to go grab some breakfast, um, some coffee, and then head to the airport. Okay, so we just did our COVID test here at Sin Lab. It was kind of close to our hotel. It costed us 60 US dollars, it so up. it cost us 60 US dollars, so it was like $30 each and you get the results in an hour. Now we're about to go grab lunch. So we are back in Lima, just went to, we're here at La Lucha sandwich place. I don't know what the name is, but 
got chicharron from papas, chicha morada, Tyler got a frozen piña, and a hamburguesa. We just took our COVID test, so we're just gonna eat. Today's kind of like a chill day. We don't have anything really planned. Hey guys, so we are chilling here in the Kennedy Park, aka the Cat Park. And it's been a little bit over an hour since we took our COVID test, so we decided to check in on the results. They give you like a username and password. Um, but we're all clear. We are both negative, so that's great. I didn't feel as nervous this time um, compared to when I was in Mexico. I feel fine. I feel great. So I kind of knew that I would be okay. And we've been like really cautious and there's just so many restrictions here anyway. So yeah, but we're all good now. stumbled upon a Dunkin Donuts and Tyler couldn't help himself. He had to try the Peruvian Dunkin Donuts. It's about the same, but what we've, no what we've noticed is that they don't have iced coffee. They only have like frozen whipped cream drinks. So at least we don't see the iced coffee, I'm not sure. Pretty much just walked around the city a bit more, shopped at the Inca Market, grabbed some last minute souvenirs. Good morning, it is our last full day here in Peru. Um, we slept in this morning and just chilled in the room for a while, had our breakfast delivered up here, everything, all that good stuff. And then um, we finally were like, okay, let's get ready and head out and explore a little bit more of Lima. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to grab a taxi really quick. It's about like a 30 minute drive, 30, 35 minute drive over to the main plaza, like where the government buildings and everything are. So we're gonna check that spot out and then like walk around and see what else is in that area. But that's pretty much it for our last full day. We don't really have any set plans. Um, Good morning or actually afternoon. It's about like 2 p.m. As I said, we kind of like chilled out this morning and everything. Um, but we're here now at the Plaza de Armas in Lima. Um, it's unfortunately blocked off, as you can see. So you can't actually enter the plaza, but you can kind of like walk around it and stuff. I'm not sure why it's closed. Maybe like a political thing or COVID, I don't know. But um, it's still really pretty. And uh, like Tyler said, it's kind of nice to see it like empty and stuff like that. walking around this plaza and it's very strange um you like in order to pass right here in front of the church you had to like ask the police to pass and then they were asking us like in spanish like why do you want to pass like what are you doing and we're like uh nothing just walking around and he was like okay go and then he like let us pass through it's, it's not like you can't pass but you just have to like go to the police and then they ask you like why do you want to pass like it's so weird but apparently it's because um, the plaza is like this right now because of the protests. But then this one guy also told us that tomorrow it's supposed to open. So I don't know if that's true or not, but. Salud. 
Is it good or no? Yeah. Take some pics and stuff, and that's probably it for Lima. 